everybody was a friend. Everybody was a family. The, the beer vendors, like you had the hot dog vendors. Everybody's like, oh, I, I, I just from Bridgeport. I just from Bridgeport. My, my grandpa used to take me there when he was two. You know, having been there for so many, actually decades, I'd see kids grow up, grandparents pass away, new generations. But that's how close people begin to feel with you. You know, you become a part of their, of the rhythm of, of life. That ballpark, it seemed like the fans were right on top of you. I mean, they like they were hovering. This is the stands and every the way it was built. When you're playing baseball in a place that you know is special, you didn't take that kind of stuff for granted. You knew the great uh, things that happened in that park, and you just got ready to play every day. I remember laying in the grass in the outfield and thinking about, you know, all the people that have played out here, all the people that have stretched out here, you know, you hit balls out here. That's why we love the old ballparks. We can feel the history and we can feel, you know, they're imperfect and they have flaws and part of their flaws make the ballpark so awesome. Because you share this experience with family members, the park becomes an extension uh, of that. Believe it or not, Comiskey Park was like a family member. And when it was uh, torn down, I kind of lost one. I love it because I, 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 I'm not from Chicago. It treats you a lot of places not really from here. They come here playing leaf. But when you wasn't playing in, in, in the whole Comiskey Park, it's like, wow, that was your house.